Today we're going to get into how to build mass on your back and your shoulders. Short sets, precise, and being effective. Let's talk about it. All right, so we made it, and it's time to work. Let's get it. First, easy setup, nice warm out, get that full stretch, get those muscles warmed up. All right, just pretty much pulling everything, working on my control. You know, when I'm warming up, I'm looking for anything that feels funny, anything that feels weird, um, you know, Warming up is definitely important, stretching those muscles out. Here we're getting we're getting to it a little bit. Alright, moving up a little bit. 225. Alright. Same thing. I'm warming up, but I'm looking for anything that's uh any type of discomfort. Alright. I would have wore a belt doing this. If you're a beginner, definitely wear a belt, but I didn't have one. Here we go. 315. Notice my form. All right, I'm being explosive. Controlling it, it's not touching the floor. Boom. All right, I didn't edit this for a reason. I want you to see I go straight into my wide grip pull-ups. So really, this is a superset. Controlling myself down, exploding up. 260 pounds is my current body weight. I got a little sloppy at the end, but Hey, I think that's pretty good. Next set, start to feel a little bit, but we don't quit. Let's get back into it. Here we go. Second set. No matter how tired you are, your form doesn't change. If your form is changing, lower the weight. Short and effective reps. Boom. All right. Almost forgot on this one, but that's all good. We're getting right back into it. Wide grip, all right? I went a little harder this set on the wide grip pull-ups. All right, next, handstand push-ups. This is a much easier setup for me. Um, and what you wanna do is, boom. Control it, control it and be explosive. All right, you're hitting those direct muscle groups in that shoulder area. You're making it very efficient. All right, second set, here we go. All right, this one I think is a little bit more controlled. The hardest thing about this is your feet moving on the wall, to be honest with you. All right. There we go. If you can't do the handstand, go for the incline. So that's pretty much it for today. You know, I want to keep it short, effective, but if you gotta use straps for your barbell rows, then maybe it's a little too heavy. Work on keeping it efficient. Like I said, try to wear a belt when doing this. I didn't have a belt this morning. I forgot it at home, that's on me, but this weight isn't too challenging. Let me know what you think.